the Ubermensch, um, the Superman. I don't think there's a generally accepted idea as to what Nietzsche meant by it, but through my understanding of what Nietzsche was saying, I would say that the Ubermensch, the Superman, or whatever you want to call him, is simply someone who, in as much as it's in his power, has taken control of his own circumstances. Uh, he has the will to power. He has um, at least the desire to do something um, that is profound or perhaps um, simply individual. He simply wants to, or she of course, uh, simply wants to um, take the initiative in life, even if it's all just up here. Somebody who wants to be self-actualized, someone who um, doesn't want to just have their life, or at least their take on their own life, um, controlled by other people. I don't think it has anything to do with being a fabulous person. For example, um, a lot of people would think that the Ubermensch is the guy who really succeeds and has, is full of self-confidence and, uh, you know, this sort of thing. And I would say, no, that's not necessarily the case, because maybe that's not what he wants, because there's lots of people who are personal failures. The Richard Corey, again, who was sort of, one would assume, would be the Ubermensch, but he wasn't. He was a miserable person and killed himself. Um... <clears throat> So that's not it. And sort of you take the caricature and of the other end of the spectrum, say the, I don't know, the life-negating person, um, just to use something that's in the context of this discussion, and um, please don't take this as anything other than an example that I'm using. Um, it is possible to be, if you ask me, an ethelist, ubermensch. <laughs> um, you would be somebody who would say, okay... Um, uh, consumption, reproduction, cannibalism, addiction, I'm stuck in all that. Okay, what can I do about that? Nothing. It's inevitable. But I'm going to sort of assert myself anyway in the face of this inevitability. Um, I'm going to say, all right, fine. One of these days, um, this horrible existence is going to get me. Um, but I'm not going to let it crush me. I'm still going to live my life on my own terms within the boundaries uh, that have been set. Um, so, uh, you say, all right, well, this is a uh, lousy place to be, but I'm going to make it my business to have the best possible life that I could have and talk the largest number of people out of having children. Um, I know that that's almost certainly going to fail, but at the end of the day, when I close my eyes and the breath starts to leave my body, I can say, I did it. I did as much as anyone could possibly expect of me uh, to promote the ideals that I hold to be true, ephelism. Um, I uh, doggedly pursued people, um, attempting to get them not to have kids. I went to the vasectomy clinic immediately myself. I adopted ten kids. Um, this sort of thing. Um, I think that you could be it. It's not necessary. It's it. None of this is contingent upon any particular ideology, if you ask me. Uh, it's just a sense of initiative. It's a sense of uh, being a master of things. It's uh, it's a it's a sense of being doing your utmost within the boundaries that you've set for yourself, and and, and understanding, of course, the boundaries that are imposed upon you, but still saying, look. I understand that I'm in a rough situation here, but I'm going to give it my best shot anyway. I think one of the things that I always thought of when I got into that antinatalism and depression thing is a lot of the people are... It struck me that a lot of people had gotten into it simply because they'd had rough lives and that they had some sense of defeat, um, that they were succumbing to ephelism. Um or antinatalism or something like that. I mentioned in a previous video that uh, Schopenhauer's antinatalism might have been the sort of thing that you would could class as a slave mentality, but not necessarily. I suppose, as I said, I consciously thought, uh, I'd think of what would be uh, an ephelist ubermensch, just to sort of say that, or to illustrate the point that you can be anything and be an ubermensch. As long as you're the one that's taken the initiative to sort of achieve as much as you possibly can in this life, and I don't mean the in achievement in the 
normal scope of this, uh, uh, the, the normal scope of things, i.e. Uh, uh, status, uh, I don't know, money, uh, least of all, power, whatever. Unless, of course, these are the things that actually have meaning for you. Whatever it is that has meaning for you, that you pursue, um, then you pursue those to your utmost. And I think that you have been, you are now the Ubermensch. Uh, I don't even think that you have to even pursue reality uh, to be an Ubermensch. You can live in a complete fantasy world. Um, you can be a, a skid row bum and still be completely uh, in control of your own life in as much as it's possible. Um, the only person who knows if they're the Superman, the Ubermensch, is the Ubermensch himself or herself. Um, I don't think that there's any great criteria for that than anyone else can tell. Um, I, I think that Nietzsche simply meant uh, someone who has accepted, or I shouldn't say accepted, but acknowledged his own humanity and has just decided, I'm going to be um, a human plus. I'm just going to go, I'm going to accept the, 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 the boundaries of my own humanity and I'm going to push it to sort of become something better than just a common human. Um, and again, that can mean anything. And, and each and each of us as individuals have to be the ones that, are, that have to decide what we're going to do uh, in terms of becoming a Superman. Um, it has nothing to do with dominance. It has nothing to do with power. Um, it has nothing to do with standing out from the herd, or at least in any way that anyone else could notice. Um, you just sort of take control of your own life in a way that suits you. Uh, no one else can tell you how to be a Superman. Only you can decide that, and only you know whether or not it's been achieved. That's my view on the Ubermensch. Thank you.